brushed the fur out of my dog. I got this huge handful of fur. Now I'm going to felt it into a ball. Run warm water and get the felt and fur wet. Try not to let it go down the sink. And then start scrubbing it with soapy water. Hold on. Now the fur ball is wet and I put some soap on it in my hand and I'm going to be just kind of scrubbing it, but I need two hands for that, so hold on. I kind of scrubbed it around. I needed it a little bit, sort of, um, but that put kind of dents in it like this when I poked my fingers into it. And then I kind of roughed up the surface a little bit back and forth shallowly, and then I, and I squeezed it a few times into a compact ball. And now I'm going to get a skewer and start poking it and see how that works. So I took a skewer and I started po trying to poke it, but that didn't really do me much good. It just kind of dented it in. Probably need a good long needle for that. So I just started like squeezing and sort of, oops, let me down off, sort of taking two half cupped hands and kind of getting it so that, um, wiggling it so that the inside of it um, meshes together, felts, and also just generally squeezing it tighter and then rubbing the outside so the outside felts and helps smooth out. And I'm going to keep doing that for a while until it seems pretty secure and compact to make a pet ball. I did that for another, like, I don't know, five minutes or something, not too long. And then I rinsed it out with hot water and squeezed and rinsed and squeezed to get the soap out. And I'm going to go throw it in the dryer. Chucking that in the dryer. Make sure the lint trap is clean. Okay. I'm going to turn that on. I want it nice and hot. And. Mine, I have to do a time dry to get this to work. So I'm going to try 50 minutes because it'll start to cool down for the last 10. We'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm. 